Alright, welcome back to Civilization 5 with Lone Debater 7. I'm just uh, getting these trade routes built and alerting our units we upgraded. Oh, a mobile Sam. That's actually helpful. We'll put him up here, I suppose. Just re-alert these. That way if someone attacks us, they'll notify us, whatever. Um, but yeah, so clicking right along. One turn from combined arms. Then I think we can upgrade our land ships into tanks, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but yeah, we're, we're getting closer. I mean, I, I think our stats are pretty good. Like, during our golden ages now, we're making 609 gold per turn. Like, that just seems insane. 504 culture, 350 tourism, 132 faith. Like, I think our Civ is pretty powerful when it comes to stats, if I do say so myself. Now, I am, while working on tourism, trying to do diplomatic as well meaning I am going to like buy out the city-states or whatever and get the votes um, so a as that keeps going like that's, that's what I'm wanting to do I'm just taking a look okay so I could send it down here I'm just trying to help beef up some of my smaller cities like the capital doesn't need production like it has plenty of production just from its own thing so that's the aesthetics tree done you got a great artist and I don't know what you get for completing it but there's probably some other bonus we'll speed up the Pentagon sure why not um, cool like we're doing good almost have computers so we can get helicopters as well which those are kinda of fun um, that's gonna be a hard one to get Manila because 250 you only get 50 per thousand so like 5,000 gold to buy it so I mean we almost have 4,000 in the bank I guess but still 5,000 is a lot um, I guess we can start dumping in a little bit it's only 76 more so 2,000 like if we get another thousand gold we can do it so we'll just wait once we get the thousand gold we'll buy out Manila from England because A, that'll be really big. They'll lose one of their like huge huge supporting city states. And we don't have chocolate, so we'll get a luxury, that'll be nice. And it gives us more votes. So yeah, we'll we'll work on that I guess. That's what we'll spend our gold on. Um outside of that, I mean things are pretty chill. Like we just wait for the turns to tick over, keep going down the tech tree building buildings everything like that um, the pentagons like I, I don't really care about the bonus but it means that the gold cost of upgrading is less so that's kind of fun um, but yeah we're, we're just kind of uh, going along and making sure we have everything up to date they're fine let's see choose production uh, research I guess is fine let's see walls yeah sure world's fair ban porcelain we're gonna say no on porcelain ban because that's stupid and the world's fair will probably get voted anyway because all the ai likes the world's fair so let's see what happens here um but yeah so I don't know uh, if, if you guys have checked out Civilization V before or not, and if so, how how much you've played and how good you are, but I am interested to think, or to know how you think I'm doing, if I'm any good at this game or not. Uh, so if you want to let me know down below, happy to hear it. Take, you know, feedback, criticism, whatever. Uh, just let, let me know what you think, and, uh, you know, hopefully I'll improve the next time around. But... With that being said, I mean, this is by far my my favorite game, so even if you think I'm bad at it, I'm probably still going to play because, yeah, I like it. it. It's what I enjoy doing. So we got World's Fair, so that's good. Just putting a couple cities on it. It should be more than enough. Our capital produces like crazy, so does our other city, so it should be fine. Um, with that being said, I mean, all these random deals. No, I'm not giving you gold. Like me something that isn't stupid like I'll take an embassy with you like that'd be good let's get an embassy yeah come on man like what are you doing okay 
All right, someone made peace. That's cool. How how are they even fighting? Like the Netherlands. I, I guess they have that one port city, but like they have no military. None of them do. Whatever, it's fine. The AI is not always the smartest. Oh yeah, Apollo program. So now we can build spaceship parts if we want. So that's fun. Uh, world leader vote is going to come up, and that's fine. I think every time one isn't selected, the top two players get more delegates. So we won't have enough to win, but we'll have enough to get more delegates for the next time around. So that'll be kind of cool. Um... We'll, we'll get there eventually, like, as we buy out more city-states and get those extra delegates, like, it's fine. If we ever really wanted to do it, we could get globalism, which means you can put your spies as diplomats and gain an extra vote for each one. So, we can always win diplomatic, but I want to get tourism. That's what I want to do. That's been the goal for a while, so that's what we're focusing on. Um, yeah, I mean, the turns take forever now that we're past turn 300, or turn 303, lol. But, uh, you know, it's okay. So 60 happiness, we are the most on that. The next highest is 39, so that's good. That means we're getting the tourism modifier with every single sieve. Um, cool, there our friend. 34% complete, that's probably all from me. Awesome. And all my cities are working on it, so that's good too. Yeah, well, we should win this World Fair, like, come in first place or whatever. I'm not even worried about it. I don't think anyone else even comes close to our productive capabilities just because their cities aren't as big. But we'll see. I mean, our capital's pop 40 now, which is pretty cool. Tourism is doing decent. We're at 386. It's rising with everyone. 30 turns. Um, to surpass, and that looks to be the longest, so 30 turns. 30 turns away, so in 30 turns, we will win. So by before turn 340, we'll definitely win, even if we didn't do anything else. But if we make more tourism, it'll go faster. So if I can figure out how to do it, I might take a look. Uh, that one's also England's, that one's also England's. Um, Manila. I guess we can pledge to protect. Why not? Uh, improve. Gift a unit. Eh. That's fine. Whatever. What else do we have? So we're starting on robotics, um, that's cool. Like if we need to do a naval battle, those missile cruisers are awesome. Like they do 100 damage, so they sink pretty much everything except for other missile cruisers, uh, which no one will have unlocked. So that pretty much shores up our naval defense. Um, I could build another city here. It's kind of a waste of time if I do, but it's something we could look at. Um, the rest of this, everyone's denouncing us now because they're upset that our sieve is so much better than theirs, but whatever. It's fine. Uh, let's see. So, they want Taoism. I'm surprised they aren't already. And we won the World's Fair. That's good. And now we're getting more than a thousand culture per turn. A 1,060 culture. Like, I want to say that is the most culture I've ever had in a Civ game like that that seems insane I guess we'll get this it means it's harder for people to steal build great firewall make it almost impossible and sure we'll build some spaceship factories like it doesn't even matter unless you're building spaceship parts but might as well build them nothing better to spend the hammers on um this Amsterdam is actually doing pretty good almost pop 21 so that's nice uh there are ally already cool taken care of manila 55 so let's see let's steal them sure we look at us we took manila that's fun um but yeah i mean we're, we're getting closer here um i hope you're enjoying the series as always check out whatever you would like on my channel um i do have some other games that i play through as well but i like comment subscribe if you want leave me a comment down below and until next time we'll see ya